Hey, what's up? This is me, JDS4696. Today I'm giving a trailer reaction for Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now this is the seventh episode in the Star Wars franchise. Now, they don't really stress that it's episode seven. Like if you really notice notice like, the title cards, it just says Star Wars The Force Awakens. But this is actually like episode 7 and it's supposed to be the start of a new trilogy. So this will be my trailer reaction for uh, this recently revealed second trailer for uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. And again, this is, uh, now this this one is directed by J.J. Uh, uh, Abrahams, the one that did the, uh, the reboot of the Star Trek film franchise. He, had, he directed this one this time. Now you have returning like uh like characters like uh Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher and they're playing like Luke Skywalker, like Han Solo and uh Leia, you know. But at the same time they uh it's not really focused on them this time from what I heard. It's, it's supposed to be actually focused on like like you know, like another like cast of uh, like heroes or heroines or whatever. But I'll touch on that kinda later, you know. But yeah, this be my like my trailer reaction for Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. My sister has it. You have that power too. Okay, so that was my uh, my like my trailer, you know, my my reaction to the uh, the second Star Wars: The Force Awakens trailer. Now, like as like a lot of you probably already know, you know, I really haven't like broadcasted to that extent. I'm kind of like disappointed to a certain extent because I was always a huge fan of the expanded universe, like of uh, like the uh, like which consists of like uh, like novels and like. TV shows and like like video games and stuff like that, but they have chose to at this point to ignore like the uh, like the novels and stuff that took place after Return of the Jedi, you know. So that kind of like disappointed me to a certain extent, but I'm still looking forward to seeing it because you know, for one thing, it's nice to see like uh, like Luke and like Han and Leia again and Chewie, you know, and all of them again. That's kind of cool seeing them back, you know, in the Star Wars like films. But I am still kind of like disappointed. That they have decided, you know, not to uh, follow like the uh, the expanded universe, like of like the novels and stuff like that. And I was a huge fan of like the uh, like the Star Wars novels. And I actually read those for like twenty like years. I, you know, what I'm saying like I, I for like twenty years, I actually read. I was reading those Star Wars novels, you know. So I'm kind of disappointed in not actually like keeping that part of like the film canon, you know. But they are still like borrowing like elements from like the. Uh, the uh, the expanded universe of novels, you know, so I'm still kind of interested in it, as you know. And from what I from what I've heard so far, it is set like 30 years after Return of the Jedi, so you know that that that's kind of interesting. But at the same time, it's uh, it is also like uh, it does like feature like Jason Solo and Jaina Solo, who are the kids of uh, Han and Princess Leia, and there was also a third child. I'm not I'm not sure if he's gonna be in here like Anakin Solo. I'm not sure he's gonna be in or not. 
But you know, like Jason and Jane and sort of they were a part of like the Hispanic universe. They were introduced in the novels. So it is kind of cool that they are taking them from the novels and put them in the film. But like a lot of the stuff, like, you know, said that the death of certain like characters and stuff like that, they're not like, they're not going to be supposedly in the film. Or like this like alien species that came into like the, the, the Star Wars galaxy, you know, that evaded them. I'm not going to touch on all that, but as far as I know, now those I won't be surprised they introduced like in the further episodes. Because it's supposed to be like the start of like a, a new trilogy, you know. But yeah, at the same time, it's supposed to be two more episodes after this too as well. And this first like film, this first one, well, episode 7, this is scheduled to be released in December of this year, 2015. So I'm kind of anticipating that. But that's like the, still like the big thrill for me as well, you know, seeing like Han and like Leia and Chewie, you know, and Luke Skywalker all of them return to like the, the film franchise. Now, I can't deny that. that it's kind of cool, like seeing them back in the films, you know. Plus they have like that this new Sith Lord, you know. He he has a name too as well. If I forget, I know it's like Darth something. I believe. I, uh, I know he has like a name though. I'm not sure what's it, what's this called. Uh. But yeah, I'm really I'm looking forward to seeing this new film, you know, in the, in the Star Wars franchise. And this is um JDS forty six ninety six, and this is my trailer reaction for Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Uh.